hello friends welcome back this is Manish Pandey today in this video I am going to show you how to extract table data from Outlook to Excel in the UI path so here you can see we have this email we have this Outlook application and we have this email where you can see we have the table data where we have three columns and four rows so we have four records available here now our requirement is to extract the table data from this outlook and write to excel file in ui path so how can we do that so today i'm going to show you but before that i can show you here you can see we have this data and you will able to write this data in this way in the excel file go to ui path studio and first what you need to do first you need to use uipath.mail.activities package that you can install from this manage packages you can install this uipath.mail.activities so using this package you will able to use outlook activities so here you need to write get outlook mail message because we are going to work on the outlook mail message so we need to read this data we need to get this data so we have this get outlook mail message and our email is available inside the inbox folder so i'm going to use this inbox folder here if you have that email in a different folder you can specify here if you don't know how to do that you can go through my previous video you can go through the complete playlist for the email automation now uncheck this now in the output control k and write here mail messages so it will have all the email messages available in this out in this output variable now we'll take here one for each activity we'll take this and then this variable will put here in this for each now rename this to mail for each mail or like for each email from this mail messages and then from right side you need to select system dot net dot mail dot mail messages here it is already selected by default i'm not sure how it happened might be in this new feature of this ui per studio automatically it is selecting based on this value based on this variable because this mail message is list of system dot net dot mail dot mail message that's why by default it has taken now we are going to take here one activity that is save outlook mail message because we are going to save this outlook mail message do not use save message we have one option that is save mail message so do not use that use here save outlook mail message so take here and it has multiple options here first you have to put this this variable here this object will be assigned here that email will be assigned here now the folder where you want to save so i, I want to save to the project folder so i will copy this and i will paste this here in the double quotation now your file name you can keep it optional or you can uh, let's say you can put here email dot subject name so your email will be saved with this name with this sub subject name like email table data to excel now save as type so here we need to take care of that save as type will be click on this and select here mht star dot mht now what is this mht file what is this file extension mht mht file extension is a web page archive format that saves the web html code and resources like images flash animations audio files etc in a single file if you we'll use your html so this email will be saved 
as a web page but all those resources like all this data if, if in the that web page if if you have used audio file any animations any images so that will be stored in a different folder but if you'll use mst so that will be combined in a one single mst file and that can be used as a web page so select this type mst click on this replace existing if you have anything if you have the same name of file exist that will be replaced now after saving this we need to take one assign activity because we need to after saving all the emails it will get all the emails from the specific folder where we have saved that so create one variable with the email files so that will be string array of a string so select here array of a string click ok now write here directory dot get files so from where we are going to get this file so we have this location sorry we have this location where we are going to save and click here and paste this one now after this double quotation put here comma and then our search pattern will be in the double quotation star dot mht so we are going to open only we are going to get only files where the extension is mht because if you see here in this folder we have dot json extension file also dot xml file also now we have list of files from this folder so we'll take here for each again we are going to take for each activity and now we'll take this email files here now we have string so now i have taken array of a string so by default it has taken here a string earlier it was object now it is a string so for each email file now what we are going to do with that file now so for that as you have seen here we have saved this file as a mst file as a web page file archive web page file so we'll take here a start process start process will help you to open this a specific web page so we'll take here and we'll pass this email file here in the executable path here now this file will be open so let me first open this one then i can because i need to first open and then i need to use data scrapping there so to do the data scrapping i need to do the manual steps then i can get the selector so for that let's let me just run that run this file so this email will be now saved here one if you see here okay this has been opened here now what we are going to do after opening this click on this data scrapping now click next now currently it is not allowing me to select the table data if you just click on that it will not give you the data right go to extension and enable the allow access to file urls so please go to extension and enable allow okay so please go to extensions let me go to ex extension let me see where is the extensions here and then select this manage extensions and you can see here in the ui path wave automations we have this allow access to file urls check this checkbox now close this close this now let me delete this one also and let me run that one more time
now this has been opened now go here and click on this data scrapping click next and now you can see here we have enabled that now it is allowing us to select these elements and here we have our ui framework that is default so we'll just go with that we'll select anywhere so click on this employee id now here it is asking that you selected a table sale okay so would you like to extract the data from the whole table yes we want so click yes now you can see here we have all this table data available here you can preview this data if this is correct so you can click on finish if this is not correct you can try to fetch again so here this is correct we have all this data available now click on finish says that is data spanning multiple pages no so we'll click no it means do we have multiple pages available in this data in this page so no we have only one page of data now you can see here we have a data scraping sequence and in this we have attached browser and selector is this now if you we'll see here in the selector title is this one email table data to excel dot msd now if you we'll see here we have taken for each so we can have multiple emails available here in this in this one if we are running this so we can have multiple emails available here and we are saving multiple and we are getting data one by one from this email and we are not sure what is the correct title what is the title of that email that we are going to read right so currently we have only one web page only one email file so that's why we are getting here but if, if we have multiples we will not able to process that so for that what we need to do we have to put here star or you can replace with the exact file name so whatever file name is we are opening that will work here so for the time being i'm just putting a star so any file will be open that can be extracted that will work here now click ok but what you can do you can take the file name and you can replace with the file name you can use the variable in the selector now after this we have this data table right uncheck this if you have any error so it will throw now take here write range because now we are going to write the data to the excel file so we'll take this workbook now excel file name will be excel data dot excel sx right and this will be saved to your project folder now seat name you can put seat one or any name you can put here now data table this data table you can pass here do not check this add headers because if if you have seen the preview data it has column 0 column 1 column 2 so we don't want that if you want to close so you can take a close tab or close application like that so this close tab will close that browser now save this now let me close this delete this one save this and run this so now you you will see here it will save that email as a mst file it has opened that it will complete the data scrapping and it will close that now go to this folder and you can see here we have this mst file and we have this excel data now open this excel data and you can see here all this data available here in this excel file so by this way you can extract the table data from outlook to excel you can extract the outlook table data and write to excel file and same activity you can use for multiple emails also because i have shown you for each so it will take all this email 
you just need to here you just need to put the filter which emails you want to read here we have a for each so it will save all the outlook emails here it will take all the emails where the extension is dot mst and then here it will open one by one extract the data write to excel file close the, uh, that web page open other like that so by this way you can open that but here you need to take care of that while writing the data if will not change if will not put the other seat name it will just replace the data to the same because every time it will take the data from other email but it will write to the same excel file same seat same so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you